Hey guys, it's Mario from WATL and today we're going to talk about exercises and stretches for axe throwing. We've never done a video like this before. I've had a lot of uh, injuries in, in the past and I figured the best way for me to actually show you proper exercises is actually to bring in someone who's qualified to give those instructions. That's not gonna be me. I'm actually going to be the injured person, which in reality I am. And I'm actually gonna be bringing in someone named Taryn. And so Taryn will be joining us. <laughs> Hi. So this is Taryn. Taryn's actually my physiotherapist. She's helped me a lot because I got tears on both my rotator cuffs and I thought it'd be a great idea to do a collaboration on how to help axe throwers better perform uh, stretches and exercises in order to strengthen themselves in order to actually perform and not get exhaustion, tennis elbow, or get any sort of wrist or even shoulder injuries. So this is something proactively we want to do for the community because a lot of the top throwers out there and a lot of the active throwers who are going more than once a week or even those who are going casually once a week are going to need kind of that help and they're probably going to start seeing some wear and tear on their joints of their throwing arm whether you're left-handed right-handed so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pass the mic over to taryn and we're going to go through every single one of these exercises that will focus on the three core areas that we want to look at for axe sorry, shoulder lats elbows and wrists all right, so why don't we get started with the shoulder because uh, Mario, we know we need it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab onto that band there and I want you to turn and face me, taking a bit of a step forward, good. Bring your arm out to about 90 degrees in that position, good. Holding the band with a fist, good. And what you're gonna do from there is holding that position, take a couple steps toward me, not letting yourself get pulled backwards by the band, good and stop there. How does that feel for you? Yeah, you could feel the tension. Definitely feel the tension in there. It's a great exercise because that's going to really get your rotator cuff firing in that position. And it's a common position for the axe throwing as well, right? You can even just hold that position where it feels comfortable and then take a couple steps back for me, releasing that tension. Good. Ooh. And you can repeat that a couple times. Yeah, you can really feel it. Yeah. Good. No pain or anything with that though, hey? Nope. Just, awesome. yeah, tightness. Good. Perfect, an easy one you can do on both sides and go from there. Okay? Perfect. So that's one we'll give you for the shoulder. The next one we wanna give you is a stretch for your lats or your latissimus dorsi muscles because if you're two-handed throwing over top of your head, those muscles can tend to be a little bit tight and restrict your range of motion. So what you can do with that is get both hands up on a surface here right in front of you. Good, and then walk your feet backwards. Good, even further. Good, until you feel a pretty good stretch yep. in that area of your latissimus dorsi, just letting your neck stay neutral. Good, feel a good stretch there? Oh yeah. Awesome. It actually feels really good. Yeah. <laughs> that one you can hold for a little bit longer, maybe about 30 seconds to a minute, as long as it feels comfortable. Perfect. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> The next one we'll give you is gonna be one to work on your mid-back region because the mid-back and the shoulder are super related. So if there's some stiffness in your thoracic spine, you're not gonna be able to get that full extension through your shoulders. So for this one, I like to use a bit of a, a tool here, your foam roller, but anything like a uh, pool noodle or a rolled towel works just as well. This one just will be a little bit more firm. So what you're gonna do is actually get down onto the ground if that's okay. Yep. You're gonna lay backwards on the foam roller with this in between your shoulder blades. In between the shoulder blades? You got it. There you go. And then place your hands in behind your head there, supporting the neck. Good. And through there, you should feel a pretty good stretch in between the shoulder blades and into that thoracic spine, as well as maybe a bit across the chest too. Oh, it feels good. Feels good. So this one, you can hang out in that position as long as it feels comfortable, even doing a couple repetitions where you bend backwards over the roller, coming back up, always supporting the neck. That looks good. Awesome. How'd that one feel? That's good. Good? <laughs> All right, next, let's move on to the wrist and forearm area. So we're gonna untie this band here. So for this one, what you're gonna be doing is stepping on your band in front of you here. You wanna have your forearm supported over the top of your leg here. Um, you're gonna have your wrist just off of the leg there, perfect. And you're gonna be curling upwards towards you, good and then a nice and slow lower on the way down. So this is what's called an eccentric contraction movement. So by doing that, you're strengthening as the muscle is lengthening, which is the best way to repair tendon injuries such as tennis elbow or um, lateral epicondylitis. And then can you do it this way as well? You got it, yeah. So that's what I was gonna say next. You're gonna flip over, 
keeping that wrist neutral and coming up from there. And a nice and slow lower on the way down as well. Awesome. This one you can repeat, you know, 10 times, a couple repetitions. You want to feel that good tension in the band. So you want something that's, you know, strong enough that you can feel the resistance, but there's no pain. Perfect. And to end things off, definitely important to do some stretching for those forearm muscles as well if they get pretty tight. So what you can do is bring that arm straight out in front of you, bend your wrist down, place your hand on the, the front of your palm there and pull downwards. And that you should be feeling kind of right in this area here. And same idea, flipping over, palm down and pulling towards you. That feels really good. Good. Perfect. And this one you can hold again for about 30 seconds. Awesome. Great exercises. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching everyone. Honestly, I've never done any of these exercises before. This is the first time I'm actually doing it. They actually feel really good. So I'd highly recommend it to anyone who's throwing because it really hits on every single element of the body that you're using. Whether you're using big axe, you're doing a, a two-handed throw, or even if you're doing a one-handed throw with big axe, which is very tolling, very taxing, and especially when you're doing those repetitions of thousands of throws, I mean, this stuff is gonna take its wear and tear on your wrist, elbow, and shoulder, and even on, on just your body in general. So these are great exercises. Again, this is Taryn from Fit for Life here in Burlington helping us out today, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys wanna see more content like this, uh, make sure you subscribe to YouTube, like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. Thanks very much for watching everyone. Hope this helps.